क्रिकेट प्रोजेक्टर पावर्ड बाय वन एक्स बैट में आपका स्वागत है आज है तीसवा मैच टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप का जहां यूएसए और आयरलैंड एक दूसरे के सामने होने वाले हैं ये मैच फ्लोरिडा हो रहा है इस पिच के बारे में भी जानेंगे स्टेडियम के बारे में जानेंगे और इस मैच पे पूरी चर्चा करने के लिए हमारे साथ यहाँ स्टूडियो में मौजूद है दो गेस्ट जिनका मैं स्वागत करना चाहूंगी सबसे पहले फॉर्मर क्रिकेटर इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेटर नोएल डेविड हमारे साथ यहाँ जुड़े हैं नोएल आपका स्वागत है आज के प्रोग्राम में Thank you, Dami. Nice to be back on Sam TV, and that also you. You're welcome, you. Noel. You're welcome, Noel. I want to bring you to the Tanmay Mishra Ji, who is a former Kenya international cricketer. He is also here today. Tanmay, welcome to our program. Thank you, Dami. Good evening, to everyone. Thank you, Dami. Good evening, to everyone. Good evening, to everyone. Welcome, Tanmay. Thirtieth match is going to be played today. यूएसए और आइलैंड के बीच में यूएसए बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग टीम अभी तक दिखती नजर आई है तो मैं पहला सवाल आपसे ही शुरुआत करती हूँ फिर मैं नोल के पास आती हूँ तो पहला सवाल ये है कि यूएसए दो मैचेस जीती थी स्टार्टिंग में बहुत अच्छी प्रदर्शनी उन्होंने करी इस पूरे टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप में आज के मैच में क्या उम्मीद कर सकते हैं यूएसए से देखिए जिस तरीके की उन्होंने क्रिकेट अभी तक खेली है या पिछले दो तीन महीने में जो खेली है बहुत क्वालिटी और कम्पेटेटिव क्रिकेट है उनकी स्क्वाड भी अगर देखेंगे तो हम ये नहीं बोल सकते कि ये एक नई एसोसिएट टीम है इनमें ऐसे प्लेयर्स हैं जिन्होंने पहले कहीं ना कहीं क्रिकेट खेला हुआ है कोरी एंडरसन को देख लीजिए जिन्होंने न्यूजीलैंड के लिए बहुत सारे मैचेस खेले थे हरमीत सिंह को देख लीजिए उन्होंने बहुत सारा फर्स्ट क्लास मैचेज इंडिया में खेला था तो कहीं ना कहीं अगर आप देखेंगे पूरी इनकी टीम जो बनी हुई है एक्सपीरियंस प्लेयर्स से बनी हुई है बट दैट बींग से आईलैंड जो कि हमेशा से जब से मैं खेलते आ रहा हूँ हमारे बाद जब केनिया उस टाइम पे बड़ी अच्छी होती थी बट आईलैंड हैज बीन द बेंचमार्क इन एसोसिएट क्रिकेट इफ यू लुक इट इन द लास्ट टेन इयर्स दे हैव बीन एक्सेप्शनल दे हैव यूटिलाइज्ड एवरी बिट ऑफ द फैसिलिटीज दैट दे बीन गिवन एंड द पोटेंशियल दे हैव ऑलवेज मैक्सिमाइज्ड इट सो कहीं ना कहीं आई थिंक यूएस को थोड़ा आज केयरफुल रहना पड़ेगा बिकॉज दिस इज अ हर्टिंग टीम यू नो लक फैक्टर हैज एन गॉन विद देम दे हैव एन प्लेड देयर बेस्ट क्रिकेट so they will be out there looking to you know prove a point that they still are the better associate team right then mai noel chaliye stadium ke bare mein baat karte hain kyunki stadium aaj alag hai florida ka stadium hai central broward uh, regional park stadium hai to is stadium mein kis tarike ki pitch hai aur kis tarike ke challenges aapko lagta hai ki team ko aa sakte hain dekhiye uh, as far as the news and what i have been asking my friends in us uh, कि फ्लोरिडा कैसा है हाउस द स्टेडियम हाउस द एटमोसफियर देयर तो आई गॉट द न्यूज दैट यू नो इट्स अ इट्स अ गुड विकेट टू बैट एंड ओवरऑल यू नो देयर देयर दिस लॉट ऑफ रन्स बीइंग स्कोर्ड देयर उनका यू नो दे हैव अ लीग सिस्टम आल्सो देयर उधर भी यू नो देयर पीपल टीम्स हैव स्कोर्ड वेल आई थिंक इट्स अ फ्लैट विकेट फॉर व्हाट माय फ्रेंड वाज सेइंग इट्स क्वाइट फ्लैट यू नो असिस्ट द बैट्समैन अ लॉट सो आई थिंक यू नो Loss uh, also will come into play today because uh, it is important that if you win the toss, you bat, put up a good total, or you know, because there's no due factor there. There's never a due factor comes into play in US. So I think it is important for uh, a team to win the toss, good, put on a good score, and put the pressure back. And I, I don't know about the ground surface, how big is the ground, and all because you know, I mean, I've not never played. In 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 United States, leaving uh, Los Angeles, but I think it, it, the, today, as Tanmay has rightly said, you know, uh, US shouldn't take it easy because uh, Irish team, as far as I know, I have uh, what I watch them at a close quarters in Ireland. Uh, whenever they have come and practice in my club uh, during the stint, whenever, so I think uh, they are a very hurting team. Uh, correctly, Tanmay has put it, they can hurt anybody. when it's their day and without the kevin brothers i think they are struggling a bit but oh uh, you know kevin o brands both the brothers you know so i think uh, let's wait and watch how this match will turn into right noel then we let's talk about the highest uh, run scorers of both the teams what do you think about us let's talk about us team first and then let's move towards ireland so when when we talk about us players what do you think about them i think they are a much settled side and uh, you know one thing we've always said about t20 cricket it's about momentum uh, they have just beaten you know i've said it time and time again that before coming to the world cup us beat bangladesh you know their batters have had a good feel they're coming with very good confidence 
they brought that confidence into play in the World Cup. We saw Munang Patel uh, getting that vital uh, half century against Pakistan. We've seen, uh, you know, one of their standing captains in the last game where he he played a heroic knock uh, against Canada, where he got like 90 or 80 or 40 goals. Aaron Jones. Uh, we, yeah, we we we've sort of we've seen that there have been. Uh, Contributions from everywhere. You know, they, they have a settled batting lineup and uh, they are going into this thing. And just to add to what David Bai said, this ground is small. You know, we've seen India play, I think, a couple of games uh, against West Indies not so long ago. And there were 200 runs scored easily and almost chased, I remember. And the ground, uh, if you look at it, the ground size, it's small. So hitting the ball far, it's, it's not that hard. So hopefully we'll see a good game of cricket and coming to uh, Ireland. Um, like David Bai said, ever since the Kevin brothers have gone, they've sort of missed that smart kid spark in the middle order. I genuinely believe even Paul Sterling, you know, one of their go-to batters, and he's been playing for more than 15, 16 years, up played with him, one of dynamic yeah. opening yeah. players. He's had a lean patch. You know, it's a bit surprising because he's one of them who gives them flying start. Um, there's uh, Paul, Paul Burney or someone like that who's uh, one of their main uh, middle order run getters who's been doing fantastically well they haven't clicked so it's it's one team that has got all the momentum versus the other team but the other team is an associate favorite you know they've played some of the most consistent cricket so um, i wouldn't be taking them too lightly and there's a lot at stake for usa today you know uh, if they if they beat ireland uh, you know they will make huge statement for USA cricket for the next 10 15 years you know this is going to open up a lot of gates you know this could be the perfect marketing or advertisement that you know you might get the local americans to like this sport so it's just not about two points for them it's about playing for their future so yeah it's going to be an exciting game but the weather you know we've not spoken about it it's been raining heavily there uh, i don't know if you've been covering it uh I don't want to jinx it, but uh, we've got to watch out for the weather over there. Yes, Sanmay. Totally. This issue can create the weather. Noel, if we talk about the past teams who qualified for the Super 8, what do you want to say about them? Like Australia, South Africa, India, West Indies and Afghanistan. So, do you have any chance to make the US or Ireland that they can maybe make some impact in the top 8? Look, if the US qualifies as my friend said Tanmay, you know, it will create a huge impact uh, for the cricket for 10-15 uh, years what he's saying. And absolutely, you know, be, why? Because a lot of people will also flock into US uh, to migrate there and start playing cricket because they, they know it is an opening uh, gate where they can enter and start their career oriented. And I feel that uh, it's very important today's game that they qualify if if the match happens, they should beat Ireland and get into the Super 8. Because once they get into the Super 8, then it becomes a testing point for the US team. Because they're not going to meet, uh, you know, ordinary like Canada or Netherlands. or I, They are going to meet Australia. They will meet Afghanistan. They will meet, uh, you know, other superior teams there. So they, ha they will learn a lot. Experience from what they have will double it up for the, in, their, in their career. And I think that is important. Today's game will feature it out. What? But uh, even if they don't, a match doesn't happen yet. They will qualify with that one point. And and why I'm, I'm uh, laughing is because it's so sad to see Pakistan going out without a, a this thing. You know mm -hmm. that feels that that is that is one thing which you know they must be praying that the match should happen today. I I just yes. want to yes. add something yes. to that point, uh, yes, Damini, if I can. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, uh, you know, sort of uh, uh, advocating this point throughout that this idea of rains happening and spoiling the sport. You know, uh, I think Sri Lanka uh, hasn't. I think Sri Lanka's match was washed out. Um, I think England's match match was washed out. These things shouldn't happen in an ICC ICC tournament. You know, the ICC has got to make sure that uh, whenever they hold, this is a world tournament. You know, this is just not a side tournament. They've got to be a bit more, uh, you know, they've got to take a bit more responsibility with the weather-wise, you know. They could have easily postponed it maybe 20, 30 days when it's peak summer. You know, we've said it time and time again that uh, washouts can really hurt a team. And, you know, 
I, I, it's not even just Pakistan, but the other teams that have just, where they could have got two points, they've had to settle for one point. So it's something, I think, through our medium, if we can advocate this or, you know, sort of let them know that uh, they've got to prepare the fixtures better in the time where it's peak season, where rain doesn't uh, decide yeah. who goes in the top eight. True, that's true, Samek because the schedule is yes. already out well in advance. Well in advance. So, I think ICC should be aware, you know, correctly pointed out and I hope ICC uh, in future will have this in mind and, you know, uh, 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 never keep a match or, uh, or a tournament, especially ICC tournament like T20 or take the ODIs also, one day World Cup. You know, don't keep fixtures where you are expecting the rain to be uh, you know, coming down at that moment when the matches are there. So, I think just that's one just, thing I see. Just, just for example, David, by, you know, India hosted the World Cup when their peak domestic season was on. You know? Absolutely. Just to make yes. sure, just to make sure that there is, you know, the rain doesn't play a spoil sport. Even though some places during warm-up, it's so that happened. But, yeah. you know, if, if, if an India team or a country like India can make sure they host a big tournament and they give that importance to that tournament where they play it in their peak season, I think, exactly. you know, ICC should draw a leaf from that. Absolutely. Yes. Last question, actually. Uh, Sanol, I want to ask you, and if you want to add on something, please tell us. We have talked about the five teams that have reached the top eight. If you have to choose the three teams, then who will you choose the three teams? On the basis of their performance, that can go to the top three. So, if you have to complete the top eight, then who can be the top eight? 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 I, I go first? Yes. Ah, you go, you go, Tanya. Yes. See, David Bai is an India player. So, he is going to back the strong associate nations. I am an associate player. So, I need three teams associates. And uh, obviously, uh, one of them, hopefully. Uh, it's important because uh, from an associate point of view and a general cricket point of view, uh, we don't get a lot of fixtures. You know, now especially with the sort of money that has been pumped in with TV rights and all these things and private leagues. You know, somewhere down the line, you know, associates keep getting pushed down the order. So, a tournament like this has a lot of meaning for associate cricketers. So, from that point of view, I'd like to see uh, out of three spots, at least two, hopefully, deservingly, uh, associate playing nations in that top eight. Yeah. Even right. I would no. love to because, yeah, even I would love to see some associate teams coming into the top eight because it, it will, there are two, two things which I can say. It will help them financially. The board will be helped financially. ICC will start sponsoring them. Uh, they will get more opportunities to play against good nations. Okay, once they qualify, you know, that recognition comes into play. Uh, for example, take US as an example. Would, from, once they qualify into the Super 8, they can go around playing with, uh, you know, uh, other teams like Afghanistan, uh, Ireland, or you take uh, come to India, play a series with India. A, you know, or what happens is your revenue starts building. Your the U.S. cricket board will start. Uh, you know, money starts coming into them, and that will help a cause to all these players who are uh, you know not financially. Yes, uh, U.S. They are working. They make a living out of it. At least this will be a bonus to them as a package in their life. You know, they can. So I think this is a great idea. What Tanvi said. Two teams at least should qualify from. Uh, 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 associate members so that they will be recognized and a lot of series will be taking place in their own country and uh, abroad too. Another right. another reason for me to echo this point is in 2003, Kenya played semi-finals in the World Cup. Yes. And after that, and after that, we never played, uh, you know, we thought we'll be the next test team playing nation. My dream was to be a test cricketer. But it did not happen because of lack of every a lot of things. It's just not the support from the ICC. My point is that that because I've suffered, you know, my dream was to play Test cricket. It didn't happen. I honestly thought I was what 15, 16, 17 years old when 2003 World Cup happened, and I thought, okay, Kenya has gone to the semi-finals. Now we might get Test status. You know, now we might get bigger teams coming to play. But it all fell apart for us. So I hope, you know, what Kenya went through as a nation. I hope. Teams that are doing well in this World Cup, they don't go through that. Ireland has already got test status. Afghanistan has got. Hopefully, US can be the next best thing. So, I hope from that point of view, because if you get test status, then whether you like it or not, you know, you will have 
testing playing nations, big testing playing nations coming to your country to play. So that adds a bit of flavor and it, it motivates you, you know, for larger things, you know, in the larger scheme of things. Right, Tanmay. No, any any last point you want to add on to this? Yeah, no, because why, why we are uh, emphasizing on uh, this is because the superior teams will automatically qualify. Yes, uh, you know, England is struggling. Pakistan is on the verge. You know, uh, New Zealand is gone. So, you know, that's all a surprise. But, you know, they are established countries. You know, they are test nations which are well experienced. They have a lot of this. But for the future, if you want cricket to grow in other countries, especially in, in, in uh, you know, uh, associate member countries, I think this is the best way. You know, uh, you know, have a lot of series happening in uh, on and off from, uh, you know, vice versa, so that they, they you know, they can uh, get the experience. So that's just, it's sad to as Kenya. Yes, uh, it's surprising that Kenya has wiped out their uh, cricketing this thing. They were number, they were a very good side, but unfortunately, due to some reasons, you know, it went. I hope uh, US will climb in that stages and become a test nation in the near future. That's that's what we all want because. Like uh, if you Tanmay, like we have here in India, uh, you know the eastern region, uh, uh, this thing, you know, a uh, lot of uh, Sikkim, Meghalaya, uh, like you have played. All these guys got an opportunity. They have become Ranji Trophy cricketers. All right. So I think opportunities have been given to them also to become first class cricketers. You you meet uh, you know you, you you compete with other state teams. So like that, if USA and other uh, this is given. I think uh, we will see a good uh, uh, teams in near future from associate uh, countries. Right, right. Noel and Tanmay, I think that in this episode, we have discussed a lot of important things in this episode. And which was way too important. That to know where the ICC is wrong or where the ICC is wrong or where the ICC is wrong. And they should also be able to give a chance to give a chance to give a chance to give a chance to give a chance. With these points, you have made it more special in today's episode. Tanway and Noel, I'm really thankful to you, both of you, for being a part of this program and sharing all the important pointers actually, which needs to be taken care by ICC also and the other teams as well. So thank you for sharing all the information. Cricket projects are powered by One X Bat. Thank you very much for being a part of this program. Thank you, Tanway. Thank, thank you, Dominic. Thanks. Thank, thank you. Dominic. See you. See you. See you.